What's the best thing about being a teacher? The best thing about being a teacher is... Welcome to the Bending Oaks Meet Our Teachers series. I'm Heath and I'm here today with... Jess. Jess, who teaches English. I sure do. Thanks for sitting down with me today. Yeah, no We'd problem. We'd like to ask you a few questions. It's my pleasure. All right, um, first of all, where were you born? I was born in Dallas. Very cool. Yeah, lived what part? in Dallas, Texas all my life. Uh, it was DeSoto, so I guess like South Dallas. Very nice. Uh, what was your high school education like? Um, the high school I went to was kind of awful, and so there was a lot of like bullying and negativity and anxiety for many kids in the 90s whenever I went to school, and so I actually ended up going uh, just to homeschool, and I've always been uh, driven to like self-teach, so I had the discipline to uh, ace my SATs and ended up going to college early and college was a whole nother world and I absolutely loved it and um, decided then that uh, education was my passion and that I wanted to be the kind of teacher that inspired me in college. So, so that's what made you want to become a teacher? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And also a uh, big part of the reason is when I had my daughter, teaching her how to read was like a joy like I had never known. It was it was the biggest joy I'd ever known, so. Oh, very cool. Um, what's the best thing about being a teacher? The best thing about being a teacher is literature is my passion. And I set my mind to reading a novel a month when I was 10 years old, and I have done that uh, ever since then. I've never missed a month. And I get to share my love of literature with the kids at this school, and it just is incredibly powerful to see them so captivated by the stories that we're reading. Yeah. Because I substitute taught for a little while in public school, and it was so sad with all of the classroom management I had to deal with and all of the behavioral problems. A lot of the time, I didn't tap into that like captivation that I see at this school where you know there's no discipline problem so everybody's just like zeroed in on the stories that I pick I like to think a lot of it has to do with what I pick you know because I'm a pro at picking the greatest literature <laughs> um, but also it's these kids they just I, they're lovers of learning too I feel like so it's it's been an excellent experience so far. I, um, what's the hardest thing about teaching? Hardest thing about teaching here is everybody has so much to say. <laughs> that, like it's hard sometimes because I want to hear all of their input and I have to kind of rein it in for you know time. And so yeah, uh, definitely time management has been the, the hardest part. All right. Um. So what do you do at home and what are some of your hobbies? Well, I have two albums of folk rock that I've written and I'm actually uh, turning most of that folk music into uh, punk music as of late because I just got involved with a punk band and I'm kind of like reliving my youth <laughs> in my punk band. Um, and yeah, we practice like twice a month. So I've been writing a lot of new songs and uh, of course reading and writing. I'm working on a novel. So yeah, that's what I do when I'm not here. Very cool. Yeah, and hang out with my family of course. Yeah. Um, all right, so if you had to sum up Bending Oaks in one word, what would it be? Creative. Creative, very good choice. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, just keep on keeping on doing what you guys are doing here at Bending Oaks because I finally have found a school that it works for me as an educator and it works for these kids and it's a truly amazing thing. Alright, thank you for sharing your experiences with us and we'll see you next time. Yeah.